The question is whether H2O2 is ionic or covalent. This is hydrogen peroxide. Sometimes it's called dihydrogen dioxide, but commonly known as hydrogen peroxide. We have our periodic table here broken into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So we find hydrogen, these are the nonmetals, but hydrogen, it's over here by itself. Still, and hydrogen is a nonmetal. So we have nonmetal oxygen over here, also a nonmetal. When we have two nonmetals bonded together, that's considered a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. So H2O2 is covalent. Let's take a look at the structure for H2O2 for a moment. So if we drew the structure, this is one way we could draw it. And here's a Lewis structure for it. And these bonds, these lines between the atoms, these represent covalent bonds. And because of that, these electrons, they're shared between the atoms. We also have unshared electrons called lone pairs on the oxygens. They'd be out here in this representation like this and over here like this. So because we have nonmetals bonded together, we have covalent bonds, the electrons are shared. This is Dr. B answering the question whether H2O2 is ionic or covalent. It is covalent, also called molecular. Thanks for watching.